Hi guys, um, my name is Agil Pratoso and, and today I come with my partner Sakara Yuoriminta and anyway today we are not um, going to present some scientific one but we are going to um, present uh, the review about the one regulation uh, that um, uh, one regulation from the Indonesian government to declare deforestation and it's more like an Indonesian timber legalization system and yeah, we are from um, under, undergraduate students of uh, forestry program from uh, Universitas Gajah Mada, Indonesia. So, um, we begin by giving you some backgrounds about Indonesian forestry. Well, Indonesian forestry has the third largest forest lands in the world after Brazil and the Demo uh, Demo Democratic Republic of Congo. And uh, the forest uh, comprises about 60% of the total range area of this country. And also because of this fact, um, Indonesia also have a high high potential of timber product. And Indonesia also have uh, ever been uh, lead the market of timber product, especially uh, for the plywood in about in 1990s area. And unfortunately, uh, even though Indonesia has a high potential of forest, but um, deforestation is also always coming and always increasing every year. And the recent years did it uh, between. Uh, 2000 until 2012, Indonesia, Indonesia has been lost about 6.02 million hectares of primary forest. And mostly the deforestation uh, has happened because of uh, the, human the human activity, especially in the illegal logging. So, um, to overcome this problem, Indonesian government tried to find the solution and find the tools um, that make a deforestation can uh, decrease every year. So, and then um, Indonesian timber legality assurance system comes up as the one solution that offered by Indonesian government. And then um, Indonesian timber legality assurance system um, is not only for uh, declining the forestation but also to improving the quality of the timber product that, and also the improving the public welfare. It means that um, Indonesian timber product can be distributed distribute well in another country, especially if, um, the country that needs the, legaliz the legalization of the timber product. So what is um, Indotilas? Well, Indotilas is a mandatory tool that obligated all forest and timber industry association to use this verification system. So all timber product from Indonesia is a, verification, a verifi verified one and, yeah, it is, and the source is can be tracked. So uh, this is the milestone of Indonesian timber legality assurance system. Well, uh, Indotilas has been comes up uh, in 2001 when uh, it was independent. There is a Bali declaration declaration from and until right now is still um, developing. And the good news is um, Indonesia is the first Asian country to sign the flag FIPA with the European Union, and so far Indonesia is the biggest timber exporting country to sign this agreement. And also, to get the verification of the legalization is not as hard as um, people think. Like, um, in, to get the verification, they just need to submit the application form to the Timber Legality Assurance Institute, and then they will uh, verify the documents, and then they will uh, fill the audit, and then the decision, the decision will release, and then yeah, this will. Okay, it's now my turn. Yeah, I, I hope that you guys understand the uh, end of last. So I'm going to explain about the implementation of Indotlas. Well, uh, here I took the case in Jepara. Jepara is actually the small town in central Java, and the population is about 1 million, and it is well known for its furniture industry. Well, why do we choose Jepara? It's because Jepara is one of the biggest furniture industry in Indonesia, as we know that Indonesia is the 18th largest country with furniture industry, and the income from furniture industry for Jepara itself is only is about 200 million US dollars per year and wood production in Jepara is more than more to culture than to economic needs so uh, Indotlas can uh, be can give the biggest impact to Jepara and uh, to explain the process of the implementation I uh, divided into the three based on the timelines first is the pre Indotlas and the second is the implementation of Indotlas and the third is post Indotlas for the pre Indotlas there's training about, oh, what? I. Sorry. Mm. Yeah, for, for the training, it's about uh, April 2012. And uh, the crafters and all the industries are asking for the lower price for the Indoclass in Jepara. And the government, uh, fortunately,
definitely agrees with the crafters because it is the culture in Jepara, so they made special re local regulation about Indotla. So in Jepara, to get the certification, it is more easier than uh, the other the other regions. And wait. <laughs> and actually, in Jepara, there are. 11,981 furniture industries and it is really hard to get them all certificated in one time so until now there's still 26.8 percent of it that have been uh, implementing the indoor class but in uh, January 2015 they have all they all have to be uh, in implementing the indoor class now uh, the post indoor class uh, here you can see that uh, the <coughs> The furniture that is manufactured in Jepara is now are sold in England and the demand is kept increasing. In 2014 it is 20% and it is, it is expected to be 50% in 2016. And there are some challenges of course from government producers and consumers. From government of course they have to ensure that Indoclass can implement that well in all sectors and also to accommodate the producer's need, well, the producers have to prepare documents because there are so many documents to be prepared for the certification. Well, for the consumers, of course, it is the readiness to pay because uh, the legal timber is going to cost higher than before. And unfortun unfortunately, uh, in recent survey, the respondents in Jakarta Furniture Fair, uh, there are still few uh, respondents that want to pay more for the legal timber. So the conclusion is that Indoclass is very, very good idea to tackle the illegal trade of timber, to tackle the illegal logging, but it still needs more concern not only from the government, but, but also from the producers, the consumers, and of course also us as the students. So thank you.